So welcome to a day in the life of a freelance photographer. I am currently out in Bulgaria and just packing my bags, getting ready to leave and it's roughly about 6am. transport of the day and it's a short bus journey of roughly about 40 minutes from uh, one side of the city to uh, the bus station the central bus station and as you can see we're just getting off the bus now and it's starting to get a bit lighter as the sun's starting to rise also to any Bulgarians watching this can you please explain why your bus and train station is so confusing um, there's signs everywhere showing bus station but it leads to the train station and yeah it's just really really odd next off at Billa which is a, a lovely little uh, convenience shop that they have there it's basically like Sainsbury's and picked up a few snacks on the journey beautiful sunrise as you can see in the distance there got lost of course so we're just trying to find the, uh, the entrance to the bus station Right, so we've just found the right underpass exit to the bus station and the coach station and we are now arriving at the bus stops and we're trying to find our current coach to take us down to Plodiv. in the coach for a uh, two-hour journey got my coffee in my hand and good way to start the day is to have a dance I'm here with my friend who's also my translator too so just have a little boogie before waiting for my client to arrive and the model arrived though so the model that I'm using today her name is Nia and she's a local to the town so we thought we'd just get a little warm-up and get to no trouble, so it would be a little less awkward. So we decided to hike up to a little known viewpoint of the city just to try and warm each other up a bit. This is the first shoot of the day and uh, it's currently around about 10 o'clock now so I've been up for a solid four hours and just trying to work out everything that's going on. The light is looking lovely in this location and we're up against a very nice red, dark red building and the sun is actually directly overhead which is not perfect conditions but I feel like it could definitely work for this shoot. see here I am just playing around with all my settings and just trying to warm the my friend up basically and my client so she feels comfortable and just wanting to try to play with the most uh, light that I have there and just see what I can get and see what ideas I can come up with and just switch for different lenses and see what looks I can get. Plovdiv is a beautiful Bulgarian city located only two hours away from the capital Sofia and it has a lot of old ancient Roman architects and as you can see the streets are still cobblestoned and it has these really beautiful passageways and also as you can hear in the background there is some really beautiful street performance going on from these two old guys and it adds a whole new vibe to this place. And on to the second location that we have for the day and it's a really beautiful little street with the lovely cobblestones that I was talking about just earlier. So 
So I am currently shooting on a Nikon D850. Controversial for some, but I am using a 85mm prime and I've got a 35mm prime and I'm just switching in and out. There is a lovely beautiful lighting uh, just hitting my subject's face and it's creating these lovely sharp and very high contrast images and there's a beautiful red building just like we saw earlier which she was shooting next to. Um, it's not the same building but there is a lot of colourful buildings around Plodiv. thing to learn and what I've learned over time is just to look around for props. Any location can have a prop and it can be something as simple as a leaf or even something as simple as a door, something just to add to the frame a little bit. And as you can see here in this shot, I found um, a fig leaf, well actually a fig bush itself that someone had thrown out. And I used the leaf actually on my lens as like a little atmospheric framing to the image and then I use it to give it to my subject because I could see there was direct sun overhead I, I realized I could use this leaf to create some beautiful shadows on her face when shooting with a 85 or 35 millimeter prime they usually give a really strong blurry background to the image and in terms of depth it allows for a very very shallow depth of field. The 35 is a very close focusing lens so you can get some really sharp but blurry background in your image and the 85 it adds great compression for the blur and so the 35 I would use for a wider shot, say for example to get her whole body in the frame and the 85 I would use tighter so I can get head and shoulders or maybe from the chest up. So um, this is the third location, if you would call it that, as it's literally just opposite where I was shooting. You can see the fig leaf which is um, still being used in this shot and I wanted to use this very rustic looking tree and brick wall as the tree had very low swung branches and the street and the tree, it felt very like a, a village country vibe to it and I felt like this would give a very nice aesthetic to my photos. As I mentioned earlier, it's still very early autumn, so we still do get some really beautiful yellow and orange leaves. 
I should have came back a little bit later on, but because of the whole COVID-19 situation, it was very unfortunate I wasn't able to, as Plodiv and Bulgaria has some of the most beautiful autumn leaves you can find. Um, this is a shot in a very big park, and as you can see, the guy cycling past, but this was shot on 85. I went to get some really, really nice compression from these images, and I felt like this location, mix of the green and the yellows worked very well for complementing the colours. And nothing screams autumn more than grabbing a pile of leaves and throwing them for dramatic purposes or photos. If this isn't one of the most overdone shots, I'm not sure what is. So the last location of the day i didn't actually use the model for this shoot but there was an amazing sunset over this beautiful viewpoint to get these stunning 360 degree panoramic views of the mountains and the city there was a very historical mountain and if i'm pronouncing it right the guy's name is Alusha, and he is a 11 meter tall statue and he is a soviet soldier and he sits on the hill and it's called Banarajik hill in plodiv and this is an amazing amazing place and i'd recommend it in the town of plodiv itself there is seven hills and it's basically what the name describes it's seven massive hills which have beautiful lookouts of the city um, I'm not going to pronounce their name because I'll probably butcher them but there is one called the youth hill and it's the tallest in the city with an altitude of 307 meters and there's also the second one which is the one I was on which was a liberated hill which is 108 meters and there's seven of them and all of them have beautiful lookout points and they're also very protected land after making it to the top just a little hike up a lot of stairs and we actually found out that our coach going back to Sofia was only leaving in about 25 minutes and it was a 20 minute walk back down and to the bus station so it was a very very tight shoot and as you can see from the footage that is why I am running back down the hill trying to get back on time. And without dragging this on any longer than it should have, I will now um, end the video here and I will show you some of the photos that I managed to take at the end, which is now. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please check out my Instagram and give me a follow on that and give me a subscribe and a like if you enjoyed this video.